Hi travellers, in today's video we're going to take you on a journey from the Brisbane Airport or Brisbane City and all the way to the stunning Gold Coast using only public transport. If you're looking for an affordable and convenient way to get there, stick around as I detail the TransLink system in South East Queensland about the Go cards and the contactless system and the various transport options available. The public transport options in South East Queensland are through the TransLink network. This includes the trains, trams, buses and ferry services that you can take from the Gold Coast through Brisbane and all the way up to the Sunshine Coast. Any TransLink service can be used with the Go Card, which ends up working out about 30% cheaper than a single paper ticket. You can purchase these either online with a credit card at manned train stations, or at local retailers like 7-Elevens and news agencies that display the go-card sign. Or adult tickets from certain fare machines. But note, these are the same fare machines that can sell you the single paper tickets, as well as topping up your go-card with the extra money, or checking your balance. But card balances are also displayed when you tap them on and off the machines. There are options for the smart ticketing and using a contactless credit or debit card, but this can be only used for an adult fare, plus it's not available everywhere yet. But I do know that they are gradually introducing it to all services now, and once that happens, there'll be less use for the Go cards for adults. If you're unsure, just look for the picture on the side with the credit cards, or they might say Go Card Only. You can also top up the card automatically online. The fare prices are charged in zones. A single zone starts at peak times with an adult price of $3.55 and up to $21.48 for eight zones. Off peak is slightly cheaper, but you must make sure you tap on and off from each service. Failure to tap off your go card at the end of the journey will result in a fixed amount being deducted from your balance. If you're trying to plan out your journey, this can be done through the TransLink app. This uses all the networks from point A to point B, cost, walking distance, platforms, times and service numbers. But know that you will need data or Wi-Fi service to access it. The heavy rail train service will leave from Brisbane International and Domestic Airport. This will depart around every 30 minutes and travel through Brisbane City and down to the coast. The air train runs in a different, more expensive price regime, but you can still use your go-card to pay for it. Generally, travelling from the airport to Brisbane Central Station with your go-card will cost you just over $20 one way for an adult but you can save some money by purchasing this portion separately online with a return journey. From the airport to the Gold Coast, it's likely that you won't need to change trains in Brisbane City, but you could get off here and explore around too. So I'll link a video in the description below to help with getting around and all the things to do. However, if you're getting on the train in the city, then look for the scheduled traveling south and the Gold Coast line. They say this is supposed to be yellow in colour, but I think it's more of an ochre. Don't forget to tap on at the machine or at the gate for the start of the journey and walk to the platform that you want. You'll know it's activated when the big tick shows up and your card balance is displayed. Generally, you won't have to wait long for a train, but make sure you stand back from the yellow line for safety. And when the train stops, press the button in the middle for the doors to open, unless somebody's already done this from the inside. It's around 80 kilometres or 50 miles in distance between Brisbane City and Surface Paradise in the heart of the Gold Coast. The transport from Brisbane City to Surface Paradise will take roughly two hours in total and will require changing onto a different service like the tram or the bus. In comparison, travelling by car will take about an hour and a half, but could be longer depending on the time of day and heavy traffic. Along the way, you can enjoy a pleasurable journey with the sights of the city, old heritage buildings and 
Brisbane's southern suburbs. You could also just sit back and read a book, listen to music or talk to the other passengers. There will be crowds on the train if you're travelling with the Monday to Friday working traffic, but weekends and school holidays will be pretty cruisy and you shouldn't have any issues getting a seat. Since it is a longer journey, there's a bathroom on board and like most trains in South East Queensland, they have free Wi-Fi and all air conditioned. There are also quiet carriages. These are situated on the second and second to last carriage of every service, which means if you're sitting in one of these, there's no talking loudly or chatting on your phone or playing music. All other carriages have a noise kept to the minimum, but a little more leeway than the quiet carriages. For today's journey, we will be traveling on the train as far as Helensvale and connecting to the tram from there to Surface Paradise. But please note that Helensvale stop is not your only option to get to the Gold Coast. So you could also stay on the heavy rail train for other stops, including Narang, Rabina and Varsity Lakes, and then connecting to a bus for other suburbs on the Gold Coast. However, from the city to Helensvale section, it will be about an hour and 10 minutes traveling through five zones and roughly costing 11 to $12 from your go-card. So before too long, you've arrived at Helensvale. You won't be walking far to the next service, just up the stairs and through the go-card ticketing gates to tap off from the train. Walk about 100 metres down the stairs and to the G-Link light rail tram service. Also know from here at Helensvale, it's your link to most of the theme parks, including Dreamworld, Whitewater World, Wet n Wild and Movie World. The TX7 bus connection can get you dropped off at your chosen park nearby. However, SeaWorld is on Main Beach and will require another connection after getting closer to the coast. But since we aren't going to the parks today, you'll tap on for the tram here and jump on the next one heading to the Gold Coast. I think they pretty much link up with the train so you won't have to wait long. I found the trams very new and comfortable, but watch out where you're walking as there are elevated seats. They are all air conditioned, Wi-Fi available, and have a convenient televised station board to tell you where you are, the next stop, and more importantly, how long it's going to take to get to your chosen stop. Conveniently, the tram connects commuters to 19 stations across 20 kilometre stretch. This includes stops at places like the Griffith University, the hospital, Southport, Broadwater Parklands, Main Beach, Surface Paradise where we're going to today, but also continues further down as far as Broad Beach. They run about every 10 minutes on average and I find it a better way to get around this area of the Gold Coast. So sit back and enjoy the scenes, coastal views and city streets. But it will be stopping every few minutes until you reach your destination. If you're going as far as Broad Beach then you will need to source a bus service to continue south from there. And I'll link a video in the description below on getting around the Gold Coast. However, Tourist Central will be one of the Surface Paradise stops and these are either at Cavill Avenue or a kilometre away at the Q1 building for the Skypoint Observation Deck. But don't forget to tap off so you don't get charged an excess amount. And if you're looking for entertainment then please click here for my things to do on the Gold Coast video and start planning out your days. I hope this video has helped you get from Brisbane to the Gold Coast on public transport. So thanks a bunch for watching and I will see you for the next one.